suppose you could heat that up. It might be nice on a cold night like this. Yeah, isn't that what you brought for dinner tonight? Chocolate, cheesecake, and, and fudge, Ken, for you're dinner? Make, you're making me wish I, I did, <laughs> but no. Hey, we're going to check in right now with meteorologist Ray Petland to see what our forecast has in store. Ray, what's one of your favorite flavors there we just mentioned? Uh, do, do you know what? The iced tea. I, I'm, I'm classic <laughs> in, in that regard. But uh, that's not something you want to be drinking on a cold night like tonight. This is what it feels like when you factor in the breezy conditions we have and the cold temperatures that are coming with it. 20 current wind chill in Butler, 22 in Catania. These are actually up a little bit from where they were last hour. Feels like 24 in Pittsburgh, 20 28 in Morgantown. Actual temperatures not far off of that. We have a, a calming wind for the time being, but it's going to stay a little on the breezier side tonight. Look at that. We had a beautiful sunset. Still a little color left over in the background there. Generally, our temperatures are on the colder side. We're at 24 degrees. We're going to lose another couple before those numbers start to climb up late tonight. So late tonight, early tomorrow morning before sunrise, we're going to start to see those numbers climbing again. So our low tonight goes down into the low to mid 20s. It's going to be a chilly night. And then tomorrow we're going to bounce back. Look at these numbers. 41 Pittsburgh, Washington, Connellsville, 42, 41 Latrobe and Greensburg, 40 in Indiana and Butler. A mild day in play with it. Some clouds and a little sunshine, but not a bad setup for a Thursday. Bigger picture shows not much in the way of snowfall. You can see any leftover uh, w winds blowing across the lake or leaving just a few flakes up towards Buffalo. For us, those are done. We're seeing those clouds trying to clear out of here and we'll have a, a fight with the clouds over the course of tonight into tomorrow. And you can see here on Futurecast through midnight, still some clouds around a little break up with the cloud cover in the morning and clouds and sunshine mixed together on and off through the day. A little breezy for tomorrow, but temperatures uh, generally on the mild side as we get into the low 40s, typical temperatures are in the mid 30s. Now, Tomorrow night and Friday, a cold front comes through and that's going to pull some winds across the lake. Now the cold front doesn't have a lot of moisture with it, so we don't have to worry about that turning on the snow as it's coming in. But once it passes and those winds come across the lake, you're going to see these little bands trying to set up. Most of this snow will be focused up to the north. However, a few of those flakes are going to try to drop into town. So just a, a isolated snow shower or two on Friday. Otherwise, some clouds and maybe a peak or two of sunshine. But I think the clouds are going to be pretty locked in there. Clouds break out a little, break up a little bit for Saturday. However, our temperatures are going to be cold. It's going to be another day where our highs likely don't get out of the 20s. So tonight, 23, cold, mix of clouds and stars, not a bad night, but it's going to be on the chilly side, especially with those breezes uh, making it feel a little colder. Tomorrow, 41 degrees, we get a mild day. Some sunshine and clouds mixed together, a little breezy there as well. That cold front comes through, and you can see we top off in the low 40s, but those numbers start to fall a bit once we get towards 7, 8 o'clock. And that'll set us up for a cooler day on Friday. So these temperatures are going to be up and down over the next few. Friday, 33, an isolated snow shower. Saturday, 28, with clouds and some sunshine. Snow late Sunday, that transitions to a rain-snow mix as temperatures try to warm up again on Monday. And after a few snow showers Tuesday, we'll wrap that up. We'll keep it cool for Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. And remember, whether it's the isolated snow, whether it's you want to know what you're going to step out to temperature and wind chill wise, get it all on the KDK weather app, current conditions, hour by hour forecast, daily forecast and interactive radar and a whole lot more packed in there for free. Just search CBS Pittsburgh in the App Store and Google Play.